Hello everyone, this is Jake. This is the results video for the first event of the Mario Olympics. There are 15 entries, so let's get started. 15th through 11th will be rewarded 10 points. In 15th place, we have Gant, representing the Bean Bean Kingdom, with a score of 1,183,771 points. They used Bowser. In 14th place, we have Bidoof, representing Sarasaland, with a score of 1,396,541 points. They used Bowser and beat 15th place by 212,770 points. In 13th place, we have Opaque, representing the x Knot Fortress, with a score of 1,433,922 points. They used Peach and beat 14th place by 37,381 points. In 12th place, we have Oof Noob, representing Sarasaland, with a score of 1,651,211 points. They used Luigi and beat 13th place by 217,289 points. In 11th place, we have Yosh, representing Delfino Island, with a score of 1,689,881 points. They used Bowser and beat 12th place by 38,670 points. 10th through 6th place will be rewarded 15 points. In 10th place, we have Nickel Time, representing the Bean Bean Kingdom, with a score of 1,835,851 points. They used Bowser and beat 11th place by 145,970 points. In 9th place, we have BCF, representing Delfino Island, with a score of 1,848,630 points. They used Piranha Plant and beat 10th place by 12,000 779 points. In 8th place, we have Spirited Toaster, representing Delfino Island, with a score of 1,926,210 points. They used Bowser and beat 9th place by 77,580 points. In 7th place, we have Urban Skier, representing Sarasaland, with a score of 1,965,260 points. They used Luigi and beat 8th place by only 39,050 points. In 6th place, we have Jason, representing Sarasaland, with a score of 2,001,750 points, the first 2 million plus score. They used Peach and beat 7th place by 36,490 points. To my knowledge, the top 5 all use the same strategy of grinding certain stages to get more points. 5th place will be rewarded 25 points. And in 5th place is Stuckmund, representing the x Knot Fortress, with a score of 2,015,020 points. He used Peach and beat 6th place by just 13,270 points. 4th place will be rewarded 30 points. And we have Swagdoll in 4th, representing the Bean Bean Kingdom, with a score of 2,021,960 points. They used Bowser and beat 5th place by 6,940 points. And it is now time for our medalists. Third place will be rewarded 45 points. The, taking the bronze medal in third place is Flames of Games, representing the x Knot Fortress with a score of 2,032,790 points. They use Piranha Plant and beat fourth place by 10,830 points. In second place, taking the silver medal is our very own Beckett, representing the x Knot Fortress with a score of 2,052,800 points. They use Luigi and beat third place by 20,010 points. All right, I'm gonna slow this down and detail uh, the strategy that me and my group uh, went through. So Jake mentioned that all the top five pretty much uh, grind on any single level to accumulate points. So essentially the points you get during the levels is based on how much damage you do. So if you can, you want to do as much damage to the players um, or to the opponents, and that sounds easy, right? Uh, but you also get points at the end for your, for your mural and that is based on your intensity. And to get 9.9 .9 intensity, it's not easy. You have to beat each level uh, pretty fast and without taking much damage. So what you want to do is do a lot of damage to the opponents, but also not take damage and finish it quickly. Um, and so how you balance that is you, with most of the levels, you do them quickly, but ideally you'd find one or two levels that you have a really easy opponent and you can hit them over and over and get a ton of points and you can see here that's what I did in the Game & Watch level, the giant Game & Watch level with Luigi is I actually got him up to I believe like 600 
percent or something like that and you can go up to 999 but i was worried about dying uh and that is what me and uh flames uh and i believe stuckman did as well so uh basically we thought that um luigi peach and piranha plant are all the best characters to use here because one you don't have to fight uh mass trend and crazy hand at the end I don't think you have to with Peach. I'm pretty sure you don't. Maybe you do. Um, but any, but those are really hard final boss. So uh, with Luigi, you just have Dracula at the end, and he's pretty easy. And they also have a lot of uh, single battles, especially Peach. She has a lot of battles just against one opponent where you can grind um, grind points. So that is the strategy we use, and you can see from the video. So I just wanted to let you in on that. And that only leaves our gold medalist, who will be rewarded 100 points. In first place, taking the gold medal, is Godols, representing Delfino Island, with a score of 2,254,130 points. They used Piranha Plant and beat second by a whopping 198,330 points. Okay, so Godols had a really interesting strategy. I thought I was going to have first place for sure, and Godols, uh, or Godols' team, figured out... Uh, an interesting trick against the Rathalos boss on Piranha Plant. Apparently, if you do the spewing purple uh, poison thing, if you do that move, you get more points than you do, like, actual damage. So you pretty much can do that over and over on the Rathalos fight and get, like, 500,000 points. It's actually insane, and I had never heard of that, would never have thought of that. Uh, of course, it's really hard to not die on the Rathalos fight. It's a tough fight. So being able to do that for a prolonged amount of time does take a lot of skill, which is why Godel's was the only one able to pull it off. And 2.2 million is absolutely insane score. I think it's top three on the cyber score for Piranha Plants. So really, really well done by Godel's. And adding up all the points, we have Sarasaland at last with 50 points. In third, we have the Bean Bean Kingdom with 55 points. We also have a tied first place between Delfino Island and the x -Dot Fortress with 140 points each. Thank you for watching, and I hope you look forward to the second event. The second event will be Mario Golf Super Rush. I haven't played that in so long, but I'm excited to take it out again and compete with y'all. I don't know the exact uh, competition, but just check in in Discord, and it will detail that soon. So, thank you for watching and participating.